is in performance engineering team uh, within the infrastructure line of business. So uh, that's everything you see behind us in terms of the 5G space here, uh, Mobile World Congress. We cover server cloud, data center deployments, networking, and 5G, as I said. How's it going with the infrastructure? There's been a lot of developments last few years. Huh? Yeah, it's great. We were here last year, you know, in kind of a full force. I mean, NWC was smaller because of the pandemic, but we saw some initial interest, obviously, with ARM and ARM servers. Um, and now this year, it's just been, you know, complete, full, full on, uh, interest because of the power, resiliency, energy efficiency of ARM, um, and the needs of the telco vendors. So there's a lot of interest now in this uh, And the uh, ARM servers are getting very stable. <laughs> yeah, yeah, ARM servers are very stable. I know in the past there's been some you know, issues in terms of stability, but that was just early on. Now they're, you know, obviously the success that we've seen with Amazon, uh, the other cloud, major cloud partners at Ampere, our partners supplied, uh, ARM servers are quite stable in running production environments now. Some of the largest services that people use uh, uh, that are based on the Amazon Cloud, for example, are underpinned by ARM server, which is the Graviton uh, experience there. And that's uh, that's fully deployed. People are adopting it in big scale, I guess. They Huge. don't publicize how many of their users on it, I guess. No, but I mean, you're happy to check with our partners who are gladly to publicize it. Again, ARM is supported in all major clouds in the US, uh, Amazon, Google, Azure, and even Oracle Cloud. Um, and of all those clouds, you have you know, major businesses, major enterprises running on top of it, as well as the cloud providers themselves. And this Ampere AD Core sounds very powerful. <laughs> yeah, we have, uh, sorry, we're in the demo space. Yeah, we have, uh, and course, uh, Ampere-based servers on the wall here. Um, if you come here, look on the wall. This is uh, from a partner here. Uh, this is HP, an HP-based, Ampere-based server. You can zoom in here and see the uh, Ampere core. We took the heat sink off, by the way. They, you know, they do come with the heat sink. So HP produces this, it's the, um, I think it's the RL300. So it's a uh, 1U HP-based uh, uh, ARM core server. Super micro, oh, right this way. Oh, no problem, no problem. No problem. Yeah. Super micro as well. We're showcasing the super micro based server. Again, Ampere is the CPU. Um, this is about a 2U server. Nice. And, and uh, I see there's a, there's a lot of RAM. It's yep. got lots of memory. Yep. And all of it can be it's fully targeted by the CPU. Yeah, it's fully good. Configurable, right? I mean, you, there's nothing different than this than ordering any other type of server from, from HP from a standpoint of what you go through. There's no special you know, special thing there. Um, and they and can it, optimize some for storage, some for networking, some uh, for Yeah, storage. I mean, right now this is the only SKU they have. But yes, you can, I mean, they're, 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 they're testing the market out. They've just seen a lot of success with it. Obviously, the brand of HP is strong for us and uh, happy to have them as in the market. Um, as you see here, we actually have these servers running in various arrays. You can see all the partners here. So we have a, a numerous amount of 5G related uh, demonstrations here. Mostly focused on small cell and private 5G, but obviously, uh, you know, we're trying to expand that beyond. When we look at the rack like this, how much is ARM in there? All of it? Uh, all of it except for like, obviously, like the special key site equipment and so forth, but all the server equipment, all ARM, all Ampere based. Um, we have some demos uh, live running across uh, multiple screens over here we can walk you through. The first one is an AI artificial intelligence demonstration that we're leveraging with NVIDIA uh, running an Ampere based, so NVIDIA GPUs running Ampere based servers. Um, we're doing basically recognition, uh, we're doing a live blurring of the, we can zoom up here, uh, blurs out the uh, license plates and also identifies people. It's just an AI on the edge demonstration. We have um, a 5G demonstration going on over here where you can see uh, throughput being measured. It's not very you know, exciting in terms of the graphical ability, but it's actually showcasing about 1.3 megabits of throughput. Um, we have demonstrations of a live radio. That Benetton radio up there is actually sending a 5G signal down to this phone. I believe it might be locked, so I can't turn it on. Um, and that 5G stack is being supported within our server space. So this is all running on ARM. Now it's real. Um, we have multiple demonstrations on video that I'm not going to walk you through, but you know, people are welcome to come by and walk through. This, so. And uh, it's been relevant forever, but now even more than ever with the 5G and the base stations are getting more localized to yes. people. 
you want to do everything on ARM because you would save. Yeah. Right, right, right. So with 5G, right, and you know, I think Facebook has even mentioned this, you know, multiple times in terms of the need for faster, you know, uh, higher bandwidth closer to the end user. Edge computing, I used to work in that industry as well. So there's a much more proliferation of compute towards the end user. Um, if you think about it, you're talking about tens to hundreds of thousands of deployments um, and, you know, where constraints are power, space, and cooling. We, ARM has a history of succeeding in those constraints, right, from our small client device days. Now we've taken that same level of expertise and kind of magnified it now to server level. So I guess the deployments are happening at crazy speeds where more and more people are adopting uh, next gen. And this is ultimate next gen. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a big topic here, right? The telcos are consideration, uh, you know, just in general, right? Power, um, resiliency, efficiency, it's a big topic. Even outside of Tokyo, in the data center space, because of the taxes being placed on them from an energy perspective. And can we look behind you? Sure, we have some, uh, you know, some stack. Uh, sorry, um, we have some. Uh, <laughs> We have the partner demos. I mean, these are what we call our, you know, the static demos. They're not really demonstrations, but they're partners that are all delivering acceleration cards. So you have Qualcomm, Marvell, Genovicio. This is by NVIDIA. Um, and then we have some smaller partners, the HQ, and they're all ARM-based. So look at the side. What are the accelerators doing? Well, nothing right now. But, uh, <laughs> but I mean, they, they can do all kinds of... Uh, yeah, I mean, primarily they're used for L1 acceleration in the 5G space. Um, so you can actually plug these into an x86-based server, uh, run your L1 stack through the actual acceleration part, and do the remaining part on the x86. All right, so, so it's all ARM part? Yes, these are all ARM part. And ARM has been announcing some new verse over the last few years, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, they're all kind of like ARM server parts, or...? The Neoverse is the ARM product line yeah, for, uh, for server, but I mean, there's obviously Cortex and many other ones, but if you, if you ever hear Neoverse, it is for the uh, infrastructure space. So it's beyond servers as well, we do networking, enterprise level, um, some storage applications, um, but yes, Neoverse is the, the infrastructure product line. And this video behind, uh, right here is also talking, the future is built on ARM, and uh, we see a drone, all the drones are ARM part. Um, yeah, but it's so, Possibly, uh, but the, the demonstration here that they're showcasing is the fact that um, the, the, the need for low latency and high bandwidth in a drone racing. So if you go to the Compile booth, these are our partners, they actually have live drone, drones flying around. But the whole idea is that in a, in a drone racing environment, you need to maintain high speed, high, low latency video uh, as you race the drone to avoid accidents and so forth. So you deploy your 5G stations that are ARM-based around. This, this, Demo is basically showing the speed of the, the data. And this is how small the the 5G base stations can become or something this like that? It's an indoor small cell, yeah. You can place a lot of these around just to make sure you're getting the proper coverage. Uh, I've never done drone racing, so I can't really speak to that. Did you put these in all the, the subway subway wagons and everything, everywhere? So people get a signal all over the place, potentially. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. <laughs> right. uh, are there some other invent, uh, announcements? in the last few months that uh, you could be talking about? Um, no, I mean, I think, I mean, the biggest announcement, I mean, the biggest thing that you're seeing from an infrastructure perspective is that we're now across all the major cloud providers. Watch your step. <laughs> um, and, and we continue to expand, right, from the standpoint of portfolio of applications, operating systems, and solutions on top of ARM in the server space. I did video yesterday with Red Hat mm -hmm. announcing some uh, partnerships. With some NEC, right, and OpenShift, which is their uh, container management platform supporting on ARM. Um, we, we have actually running one of the demos there, I and mean, it's not very visual, but um, yes, well, you know, what, all major uh, container management applications from Red Hat and OpenShift, uh, SUSE, Rancher, and um, uh, Canonical Ubuntu Microcates all support ARM in a, in a production level. All right, thanks a lot. No problem. Thanks. Cool. Yeah.